Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we've got a body which is initially at rest and then is acted upon by a force which varies according to time. And we want to know that if the direction of the force remains constant we're going to calculate the velocity of that body after 7 seconds. Now we have a relationship for force and we want velocity and the way we can get from force to velocity is through Newton's second law F equals MA. And so we can use the fact we know our force, we have the mass up here, get an expression for acceleration and we can then use acceleration to get velocity and that'll give us an expression for velocity and we can therefore find out what happens at seven seconds. So we know that our force F equals 25t take 9t squared and we know that our mass m is up here is 10 kilograms so we've got 10 kg and so if I substitute this into f equals ma that means that I've got 25t minus 9t squared is going to equal our mass 10 times by acceleration and so that means we can get an expression for acceleration for dividing both sides by 10. 25 divided by 10 gives us 2.5 t and negative 9 times 10 so we're going to have minus 0.9 t squared. So now we've got an expression for acceleration and we know that acceleration is the change of velocity over time so we can have dv dt which equals our 2.5 t minus 0 0.9 t squared. And so now if we treat this as a differential equation we can multiply the dt over this side and integrate both sides. So we'll have dv equals 2.5 t minus 0 0.9 t squared multiplied by that dt and we can integrate both sides the integral of 1 dv is just going to be v equals 2.5t with respect to t is going to integrate to 2.5t squared on 2 minus of 0.9t squared is going to become 0.9t cubed on 3 and of course we'll have a plus c a constant of integration and so we can tidy up our velocity expression now. We've got v equals 2.5 on 2 is 1.25 t squared minus 0 0.9 on 3 is 0 0.3 t cubed and we've got plus c. So now we need to work out what our constant of integration is and so if we go up to our question we are told in our question that the body is initially at rest and so that means its initial velocity is zero. So that means that at time equals zero its velocity was zero and so that means if I put those numbers into here I've got zero equals 1.25 times zero squared minus 0 0.3 times by zero cubed plus c so all of this cancels out c equals zero so that means that our velocity equation is just 1.25 t squared minus 0 0.3 t cubed. So that's our equation for velocity and so now we want to know what is the velocity after seven seconds. So that means that we need to find out at time equals seven. So at t equals 7 we want to know what is velocity. So we got velocity is going to be 1.25 multiplied by 7 squared minus 0 0.3 multiplied by 7 cubed and so working this out we get minus 41.65 meters per second. So our velocity at 7 seconds is negative 41.65 and so that's it, we're done. So if we have a variable force that varies with time 
we can just use f equals ma and get an equation for acceleration and use that to work out acceleration or velocity or displacement at any time if we integrate using differential equations.